everyone, I'm Denise from Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects all across Singapore. Today, I'm moving to District 10 to cover Leiden Green, a freehold new launch project by MCL Land and Yen Lot Land. Leiden Green has 638 units from 1 bedrooms to 4 bedroom garden villas. It is located in the vicinity of good class bungalows and within 1 to 2 km of Nanyang Primary and other prestigious institutions like Hua Chong JC, Nanyang Girls, and NJC. It is also located close to the Botanic Gardens and Dempsey and has a huge land plot of 320,000 square feet. Based on the unit's take-up rate, there's 145 one-bedrooms and one-plus study units and majority of the units that have seen high take-up rates are the three- and four-bedrooms. Since this is a part of Prime District 10 that's popular with mainly families who purchase for their own stay, is it worth buying a one-bedroom unit in Leiden Green since most of the one-bedrooms are purchased by mainly investors? I'll be using the following factors to analyse the one-bedroom units at Leiden Green. Number 1. Layout Number 2 demand and supply, and thereafter, I'll give my advice to existing and future buyers. First factor, layout. There are four main layouts at Leiden Green. We have the 474 square feet one bedroom unit that comes with an L-shaped kitchen leading to the living, dining, and bedroom. For the one plus study, there's AS1 which is 538 square feet that comes with a small study space between the bedroom and the toilet. Next, there's AS2 that's 538 square feet as well with a study room that's placed at the entrance opposite of the kitchen. Lastly, we have AS3 which is 581 square feet and the study room is placed next to the bedroom and opposite the bathroom. This brings me to my next point of demand and supply in the area. Leiden Green is surrounded by large freehold projects such as Spanish Village and Somerville Park which do not have much one-bedrooms. However, there are a lot of smaller projects in the area like Kotori and larger 99 projects such as D Leiden and Poland and Bloom. D Leiden has 262 one-bedroom units that come with the study corner, while Poland and Blue has 20 units of one-bedrooms and one-plus study. The one-bedroom unit comes with a spacious walk-in closet, while the one-plus study can be enclosed to form a compact two-bedroom unit. The supply and choices of one-bedrooms in this area with an attractive layout could explain the slower take-up rate of one-bedroom units at Leiden Green. As tenants are price sensitive, they are unlikely to pay more for a freehold project over that of a leasehold project. For example, most units of one bedroom in this area are asking for 3.1k to 3.5k regardless of the project tenure. In terms of competition amongst new launches in the prime area, Leiden Green also faces competition from projects such as 35 Gilstead, which is a freehold and closer to Newton MRT, which has one bedroom units with a lower PSF starting from 1.22 million. Wilshire Residences opposite Leiden Green is also a smaller project with one bedroom starting from 1.22 and two bedrooms starting from 1.58. Wilshire's current PSF is from 24XX and this is lower than Leiden Green's PSF which is starting from 27XX with a quantum of 1.31 million. Investors will have plenty of options such as House on Handy, Irwell Hill Residences and the soon-to-be-launched Jervois Mansion. For current and prospective buyers, my advice is you may need to hold Leiden Green for long term as it is a freehold project that will attract buyers in future. Future buyers of Leiden Green are likely to purchase it due to its large land space and landscaping. Tenants are also likely to rent in Leiden Green because they enjoy the space and the facilities. Previously, I did an analysis on Principal Gardens and Alex Residences and surprisingly, tenants and buyers are willing to pay more for a larger land plot that has more landscaping. For buyers who are deciding between the 1 and 1 plus study, the current prices of Leiden Green ranges from 1.3 for the 1 bedroom and 1.5 for the 1 plus study. I find that a price gap of 200k is too huge for an extra study room as buyers can get a two-bedroom at comparable projects such as Wilshire Residences, Here on Holland and Jervois Treasures. It will be a challenge to close this gap in the resale market even with a good layout. That's all for my analysis today on the Leiden Green one-bedroom unit. If you'd like me to analyse other projects, feel free to leave a comment below. If you find my video useful, please like, subscribe and share. See you soon!